Schmidt. I write the Outlander Anatomy blog, and I'm here at the Cryptozoic uh, booth at the San Diego Comic Con. I'm here with Dustin Corus, and he is the person who is continuing the Outlander legacy that George Neto started for the Cryptozoic cards. So I've asked Dustin if he would allow me to interview him, and he's kindly consented. And uh, Dustin, I thought I would start by asking you if you could tell us about your position here at Cryptozoic and maybe how long you've been working with Certainly. So uh, I've been with the company for um, about two years now. Uh, my title at Cryptozoic is Assistant Product Manager of Trading Cards. Um, I started off at Cryptozoic uh, with our digital collectibles department. Uh, we have an app called Quid where people can get stickers or digital trading cards on there. So uh, prior to the, being in the position I'm in now, I had a lot of experience with building sets, understanding fan bases, and uh, compiling images and texts uh, in a collectible format. So. Uh, when I got into the position, fortunately, George took me under his wing. I learned so much from him. He was just a fountain of knowledge and information and jokes and laughs, and he was just incredible to work with. And um, uh, unfortunately, the, the, the tragedy he struck us with last year was unforeseeable, and it's like having a rug pulled from underneath us. But I'm so sure. thankful for having the time uh, to work with him and for him to impart even just a fraction of his experience onto me. Um, very big shoes to fill because especially in the Outlander community, he cultivated just an expectation and a standard with all of our trading cards. So uh, every day I think about George and hold myself to the same standard. So, so far it's, it's, it's been a ride and it's been uh, so much fun and any chance that we get to meet face to face with the fans is always a pleasure. So. Oh, that's wonderful. You sounds like you actually were somewhat like an apprentice with the trading cards. Would that be accurate to say? Uh, he, he trained me. Uh, everything I know came from George. So if that, if that helps answer the question, then so be it. But everything I know about trading cards came from George. Excellent. And can you tell us a little bit about the exclusive trading cards that share at San Diego Comic Con? And then follow that a little bit with the uh, trading cards that might be available to the general public. Absolutely. So to, uh, at San Diego Comic Con this year, we are promoting our upcoming CZX Outlander uh, premium line of trading card products. Uh, we call it super premium because uh, the actual card quality is uh, more advanced and uh, better than any of our previous sets. Uh, there's a very nice gloss over all the cards. They're very thick and durable. They can still fit into a penny sleeve though. Uh, and all, all of the cards, even the base cards, have this beautiful deco foil treatment with very refined etching in them. So they're, they're uh, a feast for the eyes. And uh, so we're promoting that with uh, a convention pack. Uh, and that pack uh, we're selling has an autographed wardrobe card that was signed by Laura Donnelly, who plays Jenny. Uh, and this is the first time Cryptozoic has ever done an autographed wardrobe hybrid for Outland. Uh, we're basically taking the concept of an autograph card and a wardrobe card and merging them. So oh, what an interesting it's, idea. It's, it's very cool and we're excited to, to finally publicize it because we've had these cards for a little while now. But uh, uh, So she signed the card and also has a swatch of fabric for her costume for the show. So those are in the pack as well as an exclusive promo card uh, that is in there that you can only get here at Comic Con. And then in between those two cards in the pack, you'll get a mixture of random promo cards from the past. So oh my. you keep one to keep five. Yeah, so it's a lot of good stuff packed to get into that one pack. And in addition to that, we're giving out free promo cards, uh, also for CZX Outlander on top of that. Oh my. So we have a lot of offerings, and it's all in promotion of this new exciting set. And I assume that Cryptozoic will continue their Outlander cards in the future. That's, Is that that's safe the, to say? That's the plan. Uh, obviously, when you unroll uh, or you roll out a super premium trading card set, it may not be for everybody uh, because, you know, higher price point, you get better hits. You know, obviously, there's triple autograph cards, there's triple wardrobe cards in abundance. Um, but we are planning on continuing uh, more outlander projects in the future, and how can we not? I mean, the community has spoken. Like, you, <laughs> you guys are just such avid fans, and you, we are. And you love what we make. So, as long as there's a demand there, we're, we're happy to fulfill it. All right. Do you ever find yourself or the crew here at Cryptozoic ever find themselves overwhelmed by the enthusiasm? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say overwhelmed, but my jaw has dropped a couple times just seeing just how devoted everyone in the community is. I mean, 
you could take uh, promo cars to different yeah, events across, across the country, and I see the same faces every time showing up and chasing us around the world to track these things down. So we're, we're trying to make them a little more accessible. Uh, that's what we're doing with the preview pack, uh, promo packs that we have. We're, you know, we're giving out stuff that's been given out before. But it's, it's always so impressive to see the dedication. And, and there's such a, a positive community on Facebook and, and elsewhere of people trading cards and saying, hey, who, who needs this card? And kind of posting about it. And then, uh, you know, Aaron and I know other fans have done like uh, box breaks together and they posted their videos. So I don't know if I've seen that type of commitment uh, for any of the other fan groups that I've, that I've worked with. Some, I think uh, one of the things that is so interesting about the uh, Outlander fan group and the carding is that um, some of these people have been fans for 30 years. That's a long time. You know, I mean, they were in the books before the, the TV series started, so they it was a natural transition for them to do both. And I think that's part of the joy you know, that you see in the enthusiasm amongst the uh, amongst the people. What other cards are you in charge of? Are you in charge of all the cards? Uh, all cards? of our traditional trading card products that can be found in a hobby box, that's what I'm responsible for. Oh. So we just released our Steven Universe trading cards. Uh, Rick and Morty, uh, that's, a, that's another uh, IP that I work with. And then, of course, we are also introducing a second set of CZX cards later this year called CZX Superheroes and Supervillains, and that covers DC superhero movies from oh Batman my. Begins. <laughs> yeah, it's and, and like like CZX Outlander, it's not tied to any specific season. So it's Batman Begins, it's Shazam, it's Aquaman, it's Justice League, everything kind of oh, combines. So yeah, uh, all that kind of falls underneath my umbrella. Uh, there's other trading cards uh, that are used to promote collectibles and board games and. Uh, usually that sort of filters through me, but my day-to-day -day job at Cryptozoic is to concept and design the uh, trading card copy boxes that are oh, sold around. That's, that's a significant <laughs> challenge, I'm sure, to do that. Well, is there, let me ask you, Dustin, is there anything that you would like to say to the Outlander family about the cards? And, and, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. What kind of cards can they, can the general public purchase and where would they go to purchase them? Okay, so I'll, I'll answer that question first. Okay. Uh, we have channels of distri uh, distributors uh, like GTS that buy most of our products. And then they'll sell, sell it to uh, brick and mortar uh, shops, mom and pop shops, or sometimes online retailers. And then uh, it's usually those retailers that our fans buy from. So every time we release a product, we have a product page. It's sort of a one-stop shop all information about that particular trading card set. So on the Cryptozoic website right now, there's the CZX Outlander product page. On there, there is a link to our dealer list. Excellent. And if you click that link, you'll see the list of dealers that currently are, will be carrying uh, CZX Outlander. So uh, any one of those are, are, are trustworthy, and we've worked with them time and time again. So uh, that's usually where people uh, will buy our products. OK, so they want to go to the Cryptozoic website. And yes. there they will find yeah. What's available and a link to the, the people that they can go to purchase. Right. And uh, if, if anyone normally goes to a different trading card uh, retailer, or maybe there is an eBay seller that they're a fan of that they always check in on, they're more than welcome to request that they carry more Cryptozoa products. The dealer list that we have on our website is a living, breathing kind of thing, and we're always able to add more dealers onto it. So if anyone is interested in carrying our products, just hound them, let them know you want them to, to carry more Outlander, and hopefully they'll be able to stock up on it. Excellent. That's wonderful. Uh, can you... Have anything you want to say to your outlander, to our outlander fans about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, first of all, thank you so much for your support. Like I said, the community is just unbelievable. I haven't seen a trading card community this devoted, dedicated, friendly, helpful uh, in all my time working at Cryptozoic. So thank you so much for everything that you guys do, especially those influencers that are in the fan groups, helping people complete their sets and, and sharing the wealth of information that we have. Um, one thing I'll say that's relevant to our upcoming product, uh, CZX Outlander, uh, prepare for a super premium experience. Uh, these cards are unlike anything people have seen before coming from an Outlander set. We have an unprecedented amount of triple autograph cards where we have three signers on the same card, including Sam Ewan and Katrina Balf together. Uh, a triple autograph cards, auto wardrobe cards like I mentioned earlier, like the Laura Donnelly card, and much, much more. So. 
Uh, if you're on the fence about whether or not to buy in, expect super premium from a sub brand like CZX. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time, Dustin. It was Thank lovely you. to talk to you. Likewise. It was you a have pleasure. a great day. You too. And a good Comic Con. You too. Thank you.